In the end, Clover and I were just pawns. Pawns to be used and then gotten rid of. Still, it's not like we are completely resentful. We had to be here to help change the past. You're heroes. That part's easy to understand. But... Kinda sucks, though. I mean, Sigma and Bai have it easy. They get to go back to December 25th in 2028. They'll stop the Radical Six and save the world, and then they'll have a nice, normal future to look forward to. In other words, they get to go back to point E and just enjoy history like it was supposed to happen. How do you know that that history will be any better? But we don't. We're stuck with point C as our starting point. You told us about Ten Miyoji's story, right? The one with the motorcycles? It would be like if Alice and I were kidnapped right before the intersection. Then whoever grabbed us takes us to wherever the bikers are going, 10,000 miles to the northwest. Don't get us wrong. We know why we had to be here. Without us, S's consciousness wouldn't have been able to go back to right before the intersection. If that couldn't happen, then the fate of those 90 dead bikers would be sealed. But... It's still not the best situation for those of us left in the Northwest. We're stuck in the reality where the 90 bikers died. Are we just supposed to go live on Earth? It's a wasteland now. I think you'd probably be better off staying here. And what about our friends and families? We left a whole world behind 45 years ago. Yeah, whatever happened to Snake, for example. Or Santa. Or Seven. Well, he's probably dead by now, but... Even if it is for the greater good? It just doesn't seem fair, does it? Yeah. It's a little bit much. So we went and talked to the old lady. She told us that there is one way. One way we could get back to the past. What? Let's say you do go back to the past. Wouldn't that cause your minds to get thrown back here? That seemed to be how Sigma and Phi's jumps worked, at least. Yes, you're right. But this is different. Different? How so? From what she said, it sounds like there's a way we can send our bodies back in time, too. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It would create a paradox. How could you have two Clovers and two Alices at the same time? But that wouldn't happen. Akane says there's a way around that. Really? How on earth does she plan to do that? Schrodinger's? cat. Ah. Uh. Oh, hey Kyle. Figured you'd come here eventually. Where's Dr. Klein? Luna said you were with him. He said he was tired, so he's off resting right now. There's a bedroom at the end of the hallway. He's in there if you're curious. Oh, right. He told me to turn on this hologram projector thing when you showed up. Mm, so I'm not gonna actually get to talk to him. Want me to start it? Sh sure. to see you. There isn't anything in particular that I have to tell you. However, I imagine there are a great number of things weighing on your mind. I'd love to answer all your questions, but unfortunately, my circumstances make that an impossibility. I hope you can forgive me. Everything I know, Phi should also know. I have instructed her to answer any questions anyone might have. Anyone other than Kyle. What does he mean, other than Kyle? So you're not going to tell me anything? Who knows? Is there anything you want to ask? Oh, right, well, I guess I may as well cut to the chase. Just who are you, Fi? I'm not Superman, that's for sure. And I'm not Batman, or Spider-Man, or Aquaman, or a Merman, or a Wolfman. I'm not a Brahmin, or Common, or Ramen. I'm not a Cayman either, so you really don't need to worry about anything. Please don't dodge the question. Yeah, that wasn't funny the first time, much less now. About five hours ago, Akane attacked you with a knife. That triggered something which sent your mind back to the past, correct? Specifically, you were sent to point D, April 13th, 2029. On that date, your body was already in Akane's custody. Although by then you were in cold sleep, you wouldn't have regained consciousness, but your mind was now inhabiting that body. That pod was your home for 45 You slept there, frozen, until the time was right. 
then on January 25th, 2074, you were finally thawed out, even though you didn't wake up. Still unconscious, you were carried to the AB room. That was when your consciousness changed bodies again. A version of you from December 25th, 2028 arrived, pushing you out. And sending you back to December 25th, 2028. This is when you finally woke up. In 2028, you found and joined forces with Sigma, whose older mind was inhabiting his younger body. Together, you attempted to infiltrate the Mars Mission Test Facility. Unfortunately, your plan failed. The Radical Six did escape on New Year's Eve. That failure determined the path you followed. Instead of going along the line that branches out to the right from point E, you headed straight to point D. Point D being April 13th of the following year. That was the day that you made your way to Akane's hideout and asked to be put into one of the treatment pods. Another consciousness enters your body around that time from the future. It is, of course, the version of you that left your body when Akane attacked you in the garden. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're really confused. This caused the two versions of you to swap places. No kidding, though, guys. If you do have questions, like if you're confused about stuff, I kind of think I get it. I might be able to answer the questions. Just leave a comment below. I'd appreciate it. And you moved 45 years into the future where you woke up on the garden floor. That put you on the line that comes here. So if we discount the time you spent in cold sleep, for you, only three and a half months have passed since that happened. That being when you were sent back into the past from the garden. Have I missed anything? No, everything you talked about, you got right. How does he know all this? Well, what do you mean by that? I'm kind of an unknown variable in this equation. You could think of me as a kind of... X factor. It's taken me the last three and a half months to understand it. I haven't understood anything in the last three and a half seconds. Could you please explain? It's kind of like the relationship between classical mechanics and modern physics. Strictly speaking, you can't combine velocities with V1 plus V2. Oh god, we're getting into physics, guys. V1 plus V2 divided by 1 plus V1 times V2 over C squared is the actual equation. Oh god, you've lost me! Help! Of course, the sort of velocities we encounter in day-to-day -day life don't come close to being C squared, which is the speed of light squared. Well, that I get, yes. That means that 1 plus V1 times V2 divided by C squared is usually going to evaluate to something pretty close to 1. Since that would mean dividing by 1, it's usually okay to just skip that step and use V1. You see what I'm saying? I didn't do well in physics in college, guys. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. That's why I originally, I've told you guys before, I was a computer science major. I just, I was like, alright, this is not my forte. I don't find this interesting. Let's do something else. <laughs> so I moved on to psychology. Uh, I got a lot out of it, but that didn't exactly amount to much in reality either. Now I'm doing something that I love and it's a huge opportunity and I love it. Anyway. In most situations it works, even if it isn't technically correct. So you knew enough to get the stuff you were talking about right. As long as you stick to that, you won't run into any problems. I don't quite understand. In fact, I feel like you're dodging my questions. Yeah, you kind of are, Fi. So was that what you wanted to ask about? No. What I really want to know is what happened between Christmas and New Year's Eve in 2028. You and Sigma infiltrated the Mars mission test site, didn't you? Yes. I don't think she's... I think she's afraid to say anything of what happened in there. What happened there? How did Sigma lose his eye and both his arms? Ooh, that's a good question. And that's... <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's going to be interesting, I can tell you. And why was Radical 6 in there in the first place? What could a deadly virus have to do with the simulated mission to space? Sorry, but I can't tell you that. Yep. <laughs> I was like, you can't tell me that. Because <laughs> that's going to change things. Why? Because 
It would change history. There is a history where the virus didn't escape. That's the line that goes to the right of point E. In that timeline, humanity isn't heading for annihilation, and Earth isn't red. The future is much brighter. But if I tell you what you're asking me right now, then that reality will disappear. Yep, because we'll open the box. We don't want to open the box. You understand? I don't. Why would all of that disappear if you told me what I want to know? You're about to go back to the past, right? The past? Don't be silly. I can't do that. Then where the hell did you learn all this stuff? I just listened to you tell me a bunch of things you shouldn't have known about. You were sleeping in the pod in the garden. You just woke up. So how can you know all this? You know my past. Sigma's past. I... I shall give you your answer. You are not Kyle Klein. What? Your body is Kyle's, but your consciousness is not. Think about it. Do you really believe you are Kyle, or could you be someone else entirely? Then, where is the real Kyle's consciousness? He was thrown out when you entered. Right now, in a manner of speaking, he has arrived at December 25th, 2028. His consciousness has gone into a body from that time. Wait a minute, don't you tell me that was Sigma's body, because that makes no freaking sense. I doubt you know how much the doctor loves Kyle. He raised him on his own. Kyle is irreplaceable. Do you really think he would go back to the past? And leave Kyle behind here? What are you saying? I know what I told the others. That Kyle was Dr. Klein's spare. But that was not his only purpose. Kyle's consciousness is integral to what we are trying to accomplish. This new mission begins on Christmas and ends on New Year's Eve 2028. Its purpose will be to infiltrate the test facility and prevent the spread of the virus. For this to happen, Kyle is absolutely necessary. And that is why he created him? Oh, wait. Are you saying that the character in the third game is actually Kyle? Yes. So now that my consciousness has entered his body, the doctor has achieved his objective. Kyle has gone back to 2020. Yes, that's what he's saying. Okay, that makes sense. Correct. There's one thing that troubles me. One thing? Kyle was created before reaching point B from point D. That means his body did not exist on Christmas in 2028. I love it. Now there's a question mark. There's like, a, who is it? We don't know. Does that mean he has entered my body? Have we just switched places? I suppose you could put it that way, yes. That's ridiculous. Well, what's going to happen to me? You're telling me I have to spend the rest of my life here in this box, living in a borrowed body? Wait a minute, who is here? No, not at all. You can travel freely through time and space. You are an uncontrolled variable that entered our clothes. It's you. You are the uncontrolled variable. Yes, you. As we uh. shut. I have no idea what Please don't try to play dumb. I know what you are. Surely you must know by now too. <laughs> you are about to go into the past and save the world. Phi and Sigma, even with all of his future knowledge, will need your help. Only you can right the horrible wrongs of our past. Only you can save the world. There's no way I... Yes, there is. You have to. Don't you want to know the truth? 
Don't you want to know what happened in between Christmas and New Year's Eve in 2028? Well, yes, I do, but... Then you must believe. Reality is shaped by what we believe reality should be. If observation can change the motion of a particle, then how is it odd to think that human thought can shape reality? Your will can change history. The world will be reshaped into the one you imagine. Damn. Remember what I've told you. Only you can change history. Only you can save the world. And there you have it, guys. That's all of it. That is Virtue's Last Reward. Oh, man. Wow. I definitely have to say this is my favorite game. There's a lot of great things or in the series. There's a lot of great things that 999 did, like I mentioned, that paved the way for this. <laughs> it's kind of like Back to the Future, ironically. I think most people can, can agree that the best movie is the second one. Maybe inviting some hate there. I don't know. The first one was good. Second one was amazing. And the third one was meh. It's kind of how this series goes too. <laughs> but I am looking forward to playing the third one again. Because I do believe that now that I've had some distance between the first time playing it, the third one. God, when was that? When did that even come out? Probably like two or three years ago at this point. Anyway, um, I'm very much looking forward to playing the third. I <laughs> I will go into my issues with it at the time, and you will see my issues with it at the time. It's kind of a different graphics team. And <sighs> do you see what I'm saying? Like what I was saying before, like how much of a tragedy would it have been and was in Japan and America that all that setup all that lead up, including this ending, which I have never seen before today, hand to God, was basically making it all come down to the third game, and then they told the team, nope, third game ain't gonna happen. Sorry, not popular enough. <laughs> wow. Like, the fact that there even was a third game is very, very good. Like, And so, of course, I will play it. I love this game. I don't I don't know a whole lot else to say about it. It's talks about so many interesting things. And see, you always have to think about this. Like all, any decision, any major decision, heck, even minor decision in your life, it branches out into millions of different possibilities if you really think about it, you know? Heck, bring it down to every time you come to a fork in a road. Do you go left or do you go right? You know, there's no way you know that the second you turn left, a car's going to come out of nowhere and just destroy you. But maybe that wouldn't have happened if you had gone right. You would have gone on to live a full life. And it's like there are infinite possibilities. And it really kind of opens your mind to the idea that. <laughs> and in fact, it can be almost paralyzing. It can it can lead you to an existential crisis. But the point is, I don't know, something, something, free will, wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. <laughs> I'm not going to go too deep into it, but at this point, if you're still watching, I have to assume that you like this stuff as much as I do. So I really appreciate you guys very much. We are very close now to 500 subscribers and I can't wait till we get there. It's, it's going to be an amazing moment for me and for all of us guys. So, going to be focusing more now on the last game in this series, which is called Zero Time Dilemma. Which is very much, I've kind of joked and hinted that this is all like Saw, but, <clears throat> if you've seen those movies, but game number three is Saw. Like, it really, really is, and you will see that. But... It'll have the same old escape room action, good old stuff, you know, 
alternate timelines. It is, you know, I guess I got kind of spoiled by the first two games. If you haven't played any of these games and you still played Zero Time Dilemma, you'd probably still like it. It, and I'll go into that when I play it. It just did some things that I thought could have been done a lot better. And unlike this game and 999, it's very vague about exactly what you have to do and what you have to see in order to proceed at some points. I got very frustrated with it the first time I played. But, again, I'm going to go into that later. Oh, but in the meanwhile, guys, thank you all so much for watching. You make this channel as special as it is. Let me know what you think. You know, I've done some polls in the past. Didn't get a whole lot of uh, reaction from them. I probably should post them up on here. Because I don't think everybody follows my Twitter as much as I hope people would. <laughs> but that's all right. Anyway, remember guys, you can always comment on my main page or on any of my videos as to what you would like to see. If I get enough response for each situation, I will do my best to accommodate. You know, so again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying bringing it to you, but I must be signing off for now. Take care. Now, from this point on, things get a little bit confusing. <laughs> Before anyone says anything else, I'd just like to make a little speech. Go!